Temporary marriage, also known as muta in Arabic, is a practice that has generated significant debate within the Muslim community. Muta allows a man and a woman to contract a marriage for a specified period, with terms agreed upon beforehand. This form of marriage is particularly contentious due to differing interpretations and acceptability among various Islamic sects. To understand whether a Muslim can still have a temporary marriage, it is essential to explore the historical context, doctrinal differences, and contemporary perspectives on this practice. Historically, temporary marriage dates back to the early days of Islam. During the time of the Prophet Muhammad, Muta was practiced under specific circumstances, primarily during times of war when men were away from their families for extended periods. The primary purpose was to provide a lawful means for intimate relations and companionship, avoiding illicit behavior. However, this practice was not intended as a permanent fixture but rather a temporary solution for specific situations. The primary point of contention regarding Muta arises between Sunni and Shia Muslims. Shia Muslims, particularly those of the Twelver sect, believe that temporary marriage remains permissible. They argue that it was sanctioned by the Prophet Muhammad and was only later prohibited by the second caliph, Umar ibn al-Khattab, for reasons that were more political than religious. Shia scholars maintain that since the Prophet allowed it, the practice retains its legitimacy. On the other hand, Sunni Muslims generally regard temporary marriage as forbidden, haram. They cite the prohibition issued by Caliph Umar as a legitimate and binding decision that aligns with the broader objectives of Sharia law, which emphasize the sanctity and permanence of marriage. Sunni scholars argue that marriage in Islam is intended to be a lifelong commitment, fostering stable family units and moral societal structures. Therefore, they view muta as incompatible with these objectives and consider it abrogated. In contemporary times, the debate over muta continues to evoke strong opinions. In Shia-majority countries like Iran, temporary marriage is legally recognized and practiced under specific guidelines. Iranian law permits muta, provided that both parties consent and the marriage is registered. This practice is sometimes seen as a way to address social issues such as the need for companionship without the commitment of a permanent marriage. Conversely, in Sunni-majority countries, muta is not legally recognized and is generally viewed with disfavor. Sunni scholars and legal systems uphold the prohibition established by Caliph Umar, reinforcing the notion that marriage should be a lifelong bond. For Muslims living in non-Muslim countries, the issue of temporary marriage can be even more complex. Legal recognition of muta depends on the country's legal system, and it may not be acknowledged as a valid form of marriage. Additionally, cultural perceptions and community norms play a significant role in whether individuals consider engaging in temporary marriage. In conclusion, whether a Muslim can still have a temporary marriage depends largely on their sectarian affiliation and the legal and cultural context in which they live. For Shia Muslims, particularly Twelvers, muta remains a permissible and sometimes practiced form of marriage. For Sunni Muslims, however, temporary marriage is generally considered forbidden and incompatible with Islamic principles of marriage. As with many aspects of religious practice, individual beliefs and interpretations will significantly influence one's stance on this issue.